Dragon Quest XI is the ninth Dragon Quest game. I was kinda excited. Then I see this shit, and I immediately uninstalled and refunded the game. I never get offended by video games. If it's edgy for the sake of being edgy, that doesn't cut me. If it has derogatory stereotypes, that's just an artistic choice. Honestly, if I download a game from Steam and the intro text says, this isn't even a game, this is just a recruitment video for the Ku Klux Klan, I'd be like, Ah, if the soundtrack's good. But when I see a potato in a medieval game, it makes my fucking blood boil. Europeans first encountered potatoes in Peru, way after the Middle Ages. Yet these game publishers keep forcing potatoes into our medieval fantasies. Us gamers are tired of company bigwigs pushing us gamers around us gamers. Wouldn't surprise me if in the future you can only unlock other vegetables through loot boxes. And yes, even EA fell for this. Fortunately, they hate single player, so never again. Even Kingdom Accurate McHistoric Accurate has no potatoes. But then some cheeky fucker modded them into the game. It was me! I had to show these giant game corporations that they can never make games moddable. Publishers, what I'm saying is that if your game has potatoes but no mountainous rainforest climate, your game is bad and should be illegal. And even if you have that climate, where are the llamas? They come from the exact same place and some scientists believe they are the same species. Including them is not an option, it's a requirement. Wait, did Dragon Quest fulfill these requirements? Shite, I refunded too soon. Ah, oh, now I have to play through this 100 hour long game with one overworld theme. This is pure torture. Why does my job include playing video games? Dragon Quest XI has like every country ever. So there is a chance there is an Incan country. But no country has their correct food, like Japan land has potatoes, Arabic land has potatoes, Venice land? No pasta, just potatoes. But Hawaii land has lobsters. But real gamers will notice it's the wrong species. And in the Netherlands? Soon, trademark. Unlike in real life, they don't seem to eat any tulips. I never checked the French school land because French people usually don't care about food. But there is a Chinese mountain village where everyone has Australian or South African accents. And they eat corn. The remaining countries are ancient Greek land and Norway land. Norwegians. A people that live exclusively on butter and salmon has neither of those things. By this point, I think the wrong foods are intentional. I think the games industry just made this game to mess with me. The final country is Spainland, and it's probably only in the game so they can say Oh, the Spanish brought potatoes to Europe, so everything is fine. It's not fine. I am outraged. Those are all the countries. There have been no Incas and no Llamas. Dragon Quest gets a one out of 70,000 I found the llama. Not what I expected. Should have been more specific, but well played Square. Uh, I think this means I have to travel the world again. One overworld theme. Change the fucking song. That's the entire world again. And I haven't found the correct climate. So in my humble opinion, Dragon Quest is too bad to get a grade. The best way to describe it is unplayable. Dragon Quest is a complete game-o-matic failure. Dragon Quest didn't just die, it was mer- Wait, is this a mountainous rainforest? So yeah, it gets a 7 out of 10, pretty solid, but needs more music varieties, and has some other big flaws. 